Hi, it's Stephanie. So I admit it, I did not want to read this book. A client gave it to me and I thought, another self-help book. I have a stack, this big, oh, when am I ever gonna have time to read this thing? And, and so I, I was very grateful, but I thought, well, we'll see if I read it. But something about it, I picked it up, I looked at it, subtitle, transform your life, work, and confidence with everyday courage. And I said, all right, maybe I'll take a look at this thing. It's a quick read, could probably summarize it in about a page. Lots of testimonials, lots of stories. But something about it really spoke to me because here's the whole concept, I'll summarize it for you. It's a way to get yourself to do the things that you don't do that are good for you, that you know would make your life better or to keep yourself from doing the things that you do that are hurting you or making your life somehow not as great. And it works like this. Anytime you think of something that you know would be great to do, would be good for your life, you count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one, and then take an action. That's it. That's the whole premise. Whether it's a thought, an idea that you have, whether it's, oh, I really want to eat this piece of chocolate and I know I shouldn't, whatever it is, five, four, three, two, one, take an action, push yourself into it. So this actually works um, because as the book explains and it has a little bit about this, why it works, but the bottom line is that it actually is changing our brain state, right? We know that in a countdown, you count down before you do something. So it's sort of like part two of Nike's tagline, which I have loved since I was a kid, just do it, right? Just do it, just get into action. So I said, all right, this is a great idea, let's try it. And the first thing that the author suggests is to do this when you get up in the morning. How a lot of people hit the snooze button, right? And I know that myself, my, I have a, actually, there is no snooze button on my alarm, it's a, it's a sunlight alarm. So the light goes on and it wakes me up so usually the light goes on and I kind of lie in bed a little while and I decide, oh, did I sleep enough last night? Maybe I'll get up now. Maybe I'll wait another half hour. Maybe I'll set my phone and wake myself up in a couple minutes, whatever it is. So there's a lot of procrastination that happens. And I said, okay, I can do that. I will, five, four, three, two, one, get the hell out of bed when my alarm goes off. And so I did it. It's like, okay, that was pretty cool. I like that. So I'm up promptly now. I went downstairs to eat breakfast and I noticed there were dishes in the sink and I had the thought, oh, it would be really nice if those dishes were done. Nah, I don't want to do them. And I went, wait a minute, five, four, three, two, one, do the dishes. <laughs> and so I did, I did the dishes. I said, I have enough time this morning. I can do the dishes. And I kind of liked that. I liked that. I, I noticed it was doing something different for me. And it wasn't just about this little trick five, four, three, two, one, although that's a great trigger to get me to do something, right? It was about shifting. Um, so I went ahead from there and did my regular morning routine, yoga, meditation. And during meditation, it was, oh my God, it was one of those days where I just had so many ideas and they, I had to keep writing things down. I, I wrote a poem, which I almost never do. And I had ideas for other people's businesses and I just was putting things together and making these connections and I thought, could it have anything to do with this exercise, with this five second rule? I thought, no, it can't, but I'll test it. What I noticed, and here's the real point of me sharing this with you, what I noticed is that I had been in a rather passive or reactive state, sort of like getting up like, okay, what do I have to do today? Now, I, I mentioned this to a friend and she said, Stephanie, I don't think I've ever seen you like that, but she doesn't know on the inside, you know, part of me was like, what do I have to do today? Okay, I'll make myself do it, right? So sort of reactive and not really as fully empowered as I could be. And I noticed that this simple exercise helped me to shift from that into 
wow, I'm saying yes to this. I'm gearing up for this. I'm doing this. I'm taking action in this. It was really just a subtle shift that showed me whether I am doing it consciously or not, that I'm in action, that I'm making choices. And it felt like I was saying yes. Like I was saying yes to things in my life. Like I had stepped into the flow of what wants to happen instead of trying to make things happen on my own just by greeting them with a knowledge of my own power. And all it took was this simple five, four, three, two, one, go. So I've decided that I'm going to keep experimenting with this and see what happens. And I want to ask you, what is the thing that you're putting off that you thought of today? I mean, the whole premise is that we have a very short period of time from the time we have a thought or an idea into putting it into action and your brain is going to try to stop you from doing anything uncomfortable, from doing anything that could cause any kind of pain or discomfort whatsoever. So you need to do it now. This is the time to take an action. Now is the only time. So maybe for you, it's something that you were thinking about earlier. Do something with it. Take an action on it now. Use the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Do it. Maybe it's tomorrow morning. Getting out of bed. Try it. Experiment with it. Notice what would happen because I'm really liking this. I'm liking being in this flow of inspiration and feeling like I'm empowered in my life. And while I didn't have that same creativity overflow the next morning when I did this again and the morning following, I am noticing a real shift in the way that I'm greeting the world. Already, I feel much more positive. It's reminded me of something that I think I'd forgotten. So give it a try and let me know how it works for you.